What's up, my beautiful people? This is Galactic Goddess Tarot. And today we will be doing messages from your person that you are not in contact with for the sign of Leo. So if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe and join our family. Also, if you would like, please give this video a thumbs up. I definitely appreciate it. And it definitely helps out the channel a whole lot. Please keep in mind that I am reading for a collective. So this video may or may not resonate with you. If this video does not resonate with you, feel free to watch your moon and your rising sign. And also just keep in mind that not every single card may be your message and that's okay as well. So if the card doesn't apply, we just let that shit fly. All right, my Leos and Leo cross watchers. I do have a white candle lit right in front of us and we are good to go and ready to get into your video. But before we get into your video, just really quick, you guys, I apologize if I sound nasally and congested. I am a little under the weather, but I'm trying to get this content out for you guys. Um, I may cough. I'm not coughing a whole lot, but I may just so happen cough in your video. I apologize if I do, and I apologize if I have to take a sip of water, okay? Um, but all right, let's get into the video. We're going to split the deck. Oh. Oh my God, Leo, 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 you could be dealing with a Pisces, okay? We just, now granted, we did just come up out of Pisces season, so it's very possible that maybe um, you're just like in a Pisces type of energy or coming up out of the Pisces type of energy, um, but it's very possible you're dealing with a Pisces or someone who has Pisces in their chart, okay? So if... You're not sure of your person's, if you're not 100% sure of your person's chart, you just might want to go check out that Pisces video, okay? Your person might have Pisces in their chart, um, or one of you guys are simply just in a Pisces type of energy currently. But all right, let's see what else we get. Spirit, please give me messages from Leo's person. family issues so leo your person could be experiencing some family issues at this time okay um even if even if um you know you're not 100 percent sure um it could have something to do with children it could have anything to do with just like you know mom dad brother sister auntie cousin uncle you know the whole the whole shebang it's possible maybe you're dealing with some family issues at this time um but it possibly i feel like it could be your person though Especially if you know, especially if you know you don't have anything going on with your family, then it's definitely your person. Um, and that could be what they're kind of focused on at this time is these family issues. That could be what's like stressing this person out. Spirit, please give me messages from Leo's person. And maybe, um, it's ironic, I said... Spirit, please give me messages from Leo's person. So um, I feel like for some of you guys, maybe you know this person doesn't have like the best family relationship or something like that. Um, and that could be like your confirmation of, oh, yep, that that's who I think this is, you know. I feel like for somebody watching, like that's, that card strategically came out as like a confirmation for you. Spirit, please give me messages from Leo's person. We have Polly Lovin. So you could have been in a poly relationship with this person, okay? Um, if it's not a poly relationship, maybe there were multiple people involved in this connection, okay? Um, maybe you're with somebody. We, I'm not going to lie, you guys. I'm just keep it real and I'm going to keep it honest. All the signs I've done so far have had like that player type energy, like the person that they're not in contact with, um, to be honest, was like player. Like I had multiple people, other connections going on, okay, kind of got around. So, you know, I'm just throwing it out there. I think Pisces reading was kind of the same energy as well. Um, but yeah, you could be dealing with a situation where maybe this person talked about being poly with you. Maybe that's something you guys have discussed or, you know, maybe simply just somebody had a bunch of people. Okay. And not even, it doesn't even have to be a bunch, but maybe somebody just, you know, had other lovers. You're truly something special. 
you know, this person does find you to be special to them, okay? Um, you do mean something to this person, even if you feel like, you know, because if it is the case, your person, you know, kind of got around and stuff. Um, this person doesn't want you to think that that had anything to do with you. This person wants you to know that you are special to them, okay? You do mean something to them. Um, I just don't think that this person was like in the right headspace. Like when they were in a connection with you, maybe they were childish. Maybe they needed to grow up some. I'm trying to change. Yeah, Leo, you definitely could have been dealing with someone um, who needed to grow up, who needed to make some changes within themselves. I feel like your person could be like doing some self-reflecting at this time, okay? This person is realizing um, that they need to kind of like get their shit together because if they don't get their shit together... Um, Leo is going to be gone, point blank, period. Okay, Leo, you're not going to just sit around and wait for someone to get their shit together. Okay, so this person is working on themselves. It's almost like crunch time for this person. They know if they don't hurry up and make a change and like maybe change their lifestyle or something like that, that they're going to lose you possibly forever. Spirit, please give me messages from Leo's person. There we go. Yeah, period. There we go. I don't want to live without you. Like I said, Leo, I feel like this person feels like it's a, like crunch time, okay? Like this person knows, I, I just said this, if, like this person knows if they do not change, they will have to live life without you, okay? Because you're just, you're not gonna put up with this, okay? You're not gonna put up with the mess that they got going on. And you know, at this point, they kind of just need to grow up. They need to change. Otherwise they are gonna have to live without you because Leo, you ain't having it, period. This person does want you in their life though, okay? This person does want a future with you. Um, this person does want you around. But they do know that they need to change in order to have that. Here we go, Leo. We have Meditate. So Leo, Spirit is telling you right now that maybe you need to meditate. Maybe go be in nature, okay? Ground yourself. Take some time out, even if even if it's just 10 minutes a day or 10 minutes every other day, where you take time out and meditate. Spirit is telling you to meditate at this time. There may be some type of message you need to receive from Spirit, some type of confirmation or something like that. And in order for Spirit to, deli to deliver this message directly to you, Spirit needs you to meditate. Spirit needs you to get into that med the meditative state, okay? Ooh, we have a divine feminine here, whether that's you or your person, okay? And it does not matter how you identify, okay? We all have feminine and masculine energy within us. We are carriers of both energy, okay? But we do have a divine feminine here. Um, it could be you, you know, and that's why spirit is telling you to meditate so you can tap into this divine feminine energy, okay? Please give me messages from Leo's person. Here we go. Ooh, I love your energy. Leo, this person does love your energy. I feel like this person has a lot to love about you, okay? Um, but your energy in particular is what, like, draws this person in. It's something special about you, Leo, okay? Other people are not like you. Other people's energy, just it's just not like your energy, okay? I feel like you may have that type of energy, like, you walk into the room and everybody looks. You don't even have to say anything. You just automatically demand people's attention, you know? Because you just have a strong energy. This person loves that, okay? This person loves your energy. This person and loves how you love. Aww. Spirit, please give me messages from Leo's person. Spirit, please give me messages from Leo's person. Ooh, Leo. Okay, okay. <laughs> we have, I fantasize about you. Leo, this person is fantasizing about you, okay? This person is thinking about, you know, all the, you know, nasty things they want to do to you, okay? I'm just going to say it. They're thinking about all the little nasty stuff they want to do to you. Um, 
they are literally fantasizing. I feel like this person's like living in their head, okay? Because they can't have you like right now, like for real. They're literally fantasizing, okay? Maybe the last time you saw this person or the last time you were with this person, maybe you put it down on them or something like that. Maybe it was something rememberable or maybe just the last time you were intimate with this person at all, if you were intimate with them. Um, you know, maybe it was just super rememberable for this person, okay? Maybe they ain't never had it put down like that or something, Leo, okay? But this person is definitely fantasizing about something. So even if you didn't like, even if you weren't, sexual with this person you know maybe this person's just fantasizing about being sexual with you but i definitely feel like this person's whatever it is is sexual okay and then we have twin flame so we did have a we got that divine feminine card here okay um so leo you could be dealing with a twin flame situation okay and you know those twin flame situations could be like stressful okay and i'm just like being honest they are not like no walking apart people be trying to make it seem like them twin flame relationships are like you know what's the word um i try to make it seem like those twin flame relationships are like a walk in the park or like sunshine and rainbow and that is not the case okay when you meet your twin it is going to be rough and tough okay so yeah in order to even have twin flame connections really work out two people have to be putting in the work both people need to be working out trying to change, okay? Ooh. I know it's you I see in my dreams. I feel like that goes hand in hand with this twin flame, though. So some of you guys could really be de dealing with your twin, okay? Um, you know, twins have the capability of um, connecting and telepathically communicating with each other okay showing up in each other's dreams and things like that okay so you could be showing up in this person's dreams especially if this person's been on your mind and uh this is what you kind of been thinking about this connection and things like that you could be showing up in this person's dreams okay this person could be receiving spiritual messages when it comes to you okay spirit could be telling this person like trying to point this person in your direction okay because th that's where spirit wants them to be I love you just the way you are. Leo, you are absolutely perfect to this person, okay? This person wouldn't change anything about you. They don't want to change anything about you, okay? This person loves you literally for who you are, what you stand for. Um, you're, you're like perfect in this person's eyes, okay? Granted, now, ain't no such thing as a perfect person, but look, you're damn near close to it to this person, Okay. I feel like this person knows like they fumbled they they fumbled the ball like when when it came to you like the ball was in their court and they fumbled it. They fumbled it. Let me show you I've changed. Yep, Leo, this person wants to come in and they want space and opportunity to show you that they've been working on themselves. They, they want to be able to show you that they have changed, that they are not the same person that they were in the past, okay? Um, this person wants to show you their growth. I feel like this person's like proud of the growth that they made, okay? Um, maybe this person did a complete like 180. We ain't go three, say 360 because, you know, 360 means you just turn back around. Like, nah. I feel like this person may have did a, a, a complete 180, okay? Maybe this person's going down a completely different path than what they were in the past okay this person is really really strong on this change okay this person really wants to be able to show you that they changed i feel like this person in a sense feels like you would be proud of them if nobody would be proud of them for the progress that they made you would be proud of them leo we have get creative so maybe leo maybe you're naturally a creative person whatever being creative means to you whether that's writing music, writing poetry, um, painting, drawing, anything creative, whether it's doing little home projects or, you know, anything. And it's in the same line as meditate, okay? Get creative. Spirit is telling you to tap into that creative energy, okay? Um, and, and being a creative, I know for me personally, I'm a very creative person. So, when I get creative, um, that for me is like meditation. That's like a form of meditation for me. So spirit is maybe telling you to get back creative, okay? Get back into, maybe you haven't done like your little craft in a while, okay? Maybe it's been a while since you wrote a poem. Maybe it's been a while since you've drawn or painted something, okay? Maybe it's been a while since you've done nails or 
done makeup or whatever it is that you use to be creative, okay? Um, Spirit is telling you to get creative at this time. Tap into that creative energy, okay? Period. Love scares me. Leo, this person is a, is scared of love, point blank, period, okay? Um, love kind of freaks this person out. Maybe this person didn't have, like, good examples of love. Um, maybe they didn't have good examples of love growing up, okay? Maybe they literally just grew up and didn't know what to expect when it came to love. Maybe they had a completely different idea of what love really means, okay? Um, but at the end of the day, love kind of freaks this person out. Love freaks this person out, and I feel like this is something that this person has been working on. They don't want to be scared of love okay because this person does want to love you they do want this connection with you and as long as they're scared of love they know that they're going to continue to run and they don't want to run from you okay so i do feel like this person could be working on um this person could be working on not being scared of love maybe getting to the root of the problem maybe facing traumas um, you know, maybe this person got into therapy and realized that certain traumas in their life made them scared of love or something, okay? And even if they're not in, like, therapy, maybe they just realized on their own. Maybe they've been doing, like, some self-evaluation, realizing what things affected them to make them scared of love. Spirit, please give me messages from Leo's person. There we go. Okay, we have, I drink too much. So your person could be drinking a lot, okay? Or maybe your person drank a lot in the past. Maybe this is something you knew. Maybe this is something you didn't know, okay? Um, but whatever the case is, this person could be currently drinking too much. I'm not saying that they're an alcoholic. I mean, they could be. Um, but I didn't get like the addictions card or anything. But, um, you know, this person could be drinking a lot right now and they could be drinking a lot because simply um this connection because they miss you maybe it's because of the family issues on top of this connection okay um i feel like this person is like just like deep in their feelings okay like this person is like really emotional right now and i think it it has a lot to do with this connection and um you know maybe these family issues okay We have a new lover. Ooh, we okay. So I feel like this person possibly could be drinking a lot because they're afraid you have a new lover. Okay. Maybe you do have a new lover, or maybe this person has realized that you know you're moving forward with someone else. Okay. Um, and it's causing this person to drink because they're like heartbroken. Okay. Um, if you don't actually have a new lover or have a love interest at this time, maybe this person is just worried that you're going to have a new lover, that you're not going to want them back, okay? Um, or you could honestly, to be honest, you could have a new lover coming in, okay? You may have two people you might have to choose between, okay? Especially if this person comes forward, you may have a new lover that steps up. This could be spirit telling you to get ready because, you know, a new lover may just be coming forward. I just had a card flip. Here we go. Ooh, we, we have, you're still mine. Look, this person feels like you're still theirs, okay? Point blank period. This person's like, I don't care about no new lover. I don't care if, like, obviously they care, okay? Obviously, especially if that's what's making them drink. But they're almost like, in a sense, like, they're they're willing to fight for your love. I don't mean physically fight, but I'm just saying, like, this person's willing to, like, step up, okay? This person's willing to show you, like, hey, Leo, I love you. I want to change. I'm trying to change. Just give me a chance. I feel like this person's, this person's going to try to, like, pull out all the stops to show you, like, yes, baby, Leo, you are still mine, okay? Period. <laughs> I can't get over you. You know, this person has tried to move forward. This person has tried to like, you know, mingle with other people and things like that. But they can't get over you, Leo. You done, you done did something to this person, okay? And they can't get you out of their mind, okay? This person at this point just feels like I, I'm not supposed to get over Leo. Leo was a, a significant person in my life and I, and I fumbled the ball, okay? This person doesn't want to get over you, okay? They have tried because you guys went your separate ways, but they realized like, 
mm, almost like they're not supposed to get over you. Like you're supposed to be in their life. Last card. We need to talk. Leo, this person does want to talk to you. This person wants to have a conversation with you, okay? It's to the point now this person's like, yes, Leo, we need to have this conversation. We need to talk. I'm not trying to let no new lover come in, come up in here and swoop you away. This person does want to have a conversation with you, Leo. They do want to talk to you. So don't be surprised if this person, you know, pops up or, you know, DMs you, messages you or something, okay? Um, because this person does want to have a conversation with you. They do want to talk to you. Um, I feel like this person wants to get some things off their chest. But all right, Leo, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it resonated with you. If it did and you haven't already, please subscribe and join our family. Also, please give this video a thumbs up. I definitely appreciate it. And it really, really does help out the channel, you guys. It takes two seconds. And by you simply giving this video a thumbs up, um, you help other Leos and other Leo cross watchers come across this video and the algorithm and receive a message or a confirmation that they may need. Um, but yeah, I love you guys so much. And I hope you guys have a beautiful, 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 beautiful day. And I will see you guys later. Bye.